Hey folks, Matt from Murray to the image.com. The Sigma E mount lenses, the Sony E mount lenses are shipping. They're coming, folks. Um, we've been talking about this. Sony's been saying they're coming. Uh, they were announced in February, and these are their art and contemporary lenses, which are very popular. A lot of people, a lot of these art lenses, people have preferred to OEM lenses in both the Nikon and Canon lineup, top end lenses. So, you know, like 85 F1.4, 50 F1.4, things like this. They're preferring the art version of it from Sigma to the Canon or the Nikon. Uh, so Sigma's doing really well here. And now we have these E-mount lenses available for Sony, which, as you know, that's been one of my caveats about buying a Sony camera is that I do feel a lot of the lenses are pricey and there's not a lot of good budget value lenses like you can get in the Canon and an Nikon lineup. We've got... Uh, uh, five of the nine announced uh, now shipping, uh, and they're all primes, 20 mil F1.4, 24 F1.4, 35 F1.4, 50 F1.4, and the 85 F1.4. All of them are DG HSM art lenses, uh, so you've now got the ability to buy into the very nice Sigma art lenses for your Sonys. Um, it's been interesting what, what Sigma's been doing. Um, as I said, the optical performance, the build quality, everything on these things is fantastic. Um, Sigma says, uh, obviously one of the concerns some people have, and they, I get this frequently, people writing in saying, well, what about, um, you know, will they perform as well? Will they focus as fast? Will they be as quiet in video? Will they allow the Canon dual pixel autofocus system to work if I'm using it through an adapter? Uh, will the Sony continuous focus system work using it? These are all the type of questions I get about possible problems with Sigma. Uh, Sigma says the new Sony E-mount models feature a newly developed control algorithm that optimizes the autofocus drive and maximizes the data transmission speed. In addition, these lenses are compatible with Sony Continuous AF, which brackets AFC, and high-speed autofocus, which are not addressed by Sigma mount converter MC11. Like the MC11, the lenses are compatible with in-camera image stabilization and in-camera lens aberration correction, which includes corrections for peripheral illumination, chromatic aberrations, and distortions. And uh, this is pretty cool. Uh, now we've got five of these available. There's four more coming. There's nine coming for Sony for E-mount. So I'm just curious what you guys think. Does the availability now of these Sigma lenses, does it alleviate a concern for you? Have been holding off buying a Sony, maybe the a7 III, maybe an a6500, maybe any of any of the, the a7R three, but you were concerned about what you would want to shoot with as far as lenses and the prices. Is the Sigma opening that up to you? Is it alleviating that concern? Are you ready to go buy a Sony body now that you can get these Sigma art lenses, these really nice lenses? Um, does it make no difference to you? You already own Sony and you're going to add a couple of these to your stable. Let me know in the comments below. Curious to see what you guys think of the new Sigma art lenses available in an e-mount for Sony. How that impacts things. How it impacts you. How it might impact your purchasing decision. Uh, what you think about it in general. Let me know in the comments below. Let's discuss it. Always great to hear from you guys and your feedback. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.